we are underway at Bramall Lane. The Blades kicking from left to right in the opening half. Now Egan up to McAtee. Sharp is in the box. Is he onside? No, it's turned home by Doyle. But the offside flag went up early. Lavery will look to try and take aim from 25 on the right hand side. Here is Connolly up from the back. Connolly will stand it up towards the back stick. Basham comes in. Patino with the corner from the left hand side. Deep towards the back stick. Too deep. Edge of the area for Illiman and Jai. Back to the right. Doyle with the deep ball towards the back stick. Billy Sharp is there. Heads down in the middle. McAtee will turn the ball in in front of the cop end. Wonderful early ball in. Brilliant header back across from Sharp. The striker wasn't greedy. And there is James McAtee with his first ever league goal. His first Blades goal. And a brilliant start. Seven minutes gone at Bramalane. And Sheffield United have the early lead. Sheffield United won. Blackpool nil. Lavery, right hand side looking to attack Norrington Davies into a central area. Through looking for Medine, but stepping in there was Norwood in. Here comes the corner from Blackpool from the right hand side, which central area. Cleared towards the edge of the area. Thompson will bring it down. He will hit it from 30 yards out. It is well over the top of the bar. Blackpool play on. Kenny Dougal will look to play it out to the right hand side here for Lavery. Lavery will cross, looking for Medine, who gets a foot on the end of it. It's going to run here to Dougal. Medine had made the run. Dougal holds it up, plays in Jerry Yates on the left-hand side. Dummies the initial shot, then bends one. 20 yards out, it's taken a slight nick. Hit towards the near post. Norwood's there with the clear. The Blades are going to raise up here as McAtee plays it low across the middle. Has to be seen behind by Jerry Yates. Here comes Norwood, whip centrally, it's going to come off. Doyle, what a through ball, that is down the right-hand side to Baldock. Baldock will square it, it goes behind. Looking for their eighth victory of the season in 14. Norwood in from the right, this one a, a more struck with power through the laces, but it's headed away from the edge of the box. Baldock now back to uh, Doyle. Low header away by Thornley, now Doyle. Midway point in the first half, back to Norwood, who, well, he looked like he was fouled. Norwood with this corner, towards the penalty spot area, headed away by Callum Connolly. Now Doyle down the right, Norwood will look to advance into the penalty area, blitz it low into the box, it's going to be headed in! And headed in by Illiman and Jai, sat up perfectly for the Senegalese international. Lovely work by Norwood, decided to drive into the area. And Illiman and Jai has his sixth goal of the campaign. Sheffield United 2, Blackpool 0. Far side of the field. Dougal hits it down the right into the box for Lavery. Osborne is across there, gets the block. It's on the counter that Blackpool have looked dangerous. This time the elect goes short. It's whipped near post. Sharp is in there. It's going to come out towards Callum Conley. Put towards goal by Dougal. Header back across and in. And in near side. It's Jerry Yates who gets it in. Instinctive header in the box. The Blades didn't deal well with the seconds after the corner was taken short on the far side. And there's the former Miller to head in on the left of the six-yard box to halve Sheffield United's advantage. United come forward here with uh, Sharp, who takes the ball across. Maxwell can only just palm it away. Here's Bridcut. Just win the ball after a poor ball from Sheffield United far side. Ekpateta across there. Well done by McAtee. Sharp will bring it back to Doyle. Doyle 30 yards out. He's going to try one from distance. Here's Osborne on the left. Norwood himself is behind. McAtee will dance towards the edge of the box. Left-hand side now for Norrington Davis Into the middle. Doyle with a flick towards goal. It's going to go wide. A wonderful work by Njai. Into the area for McAtee. Excellent challenge comes in by Patino. But then Osborne towards the back stick. Bulldog will head the ball down. Brilliant save by Maxwell. Tommy Doyle. 15 yards out, puts his shirt over his head. Corner from the left-hand side for the blade, headed up in the air. Dougal down, Norwood back in. Egan still forward for the corner, it's bobbling around in the Blackpool penalty area. Cleared as far as Norwood. Pinpoint pass to the left-hand side here for Doyle. Overlapping run for Norrington Davis. Norrington Davis drills it across the middle. Here comes Dougal, central. Aim towards Ekpateta, who arrows the header 12 yards out. Here's Medine, right hand side now for Connolly. Lavery's going to touch it beyond Norrington Davis. Lavery into the area, back stick. Jerry Yates volleys the ball in, eight yards out, and just like that, Blackpool have turned it back level. We said they've been dangerous. Pandemonium in that away end.
Back to Mike Braces for the former Miller, Jerry Yates. Volleys the ball and Sheffield United have been stunned here. Three minutes before the break, Sheffield United 2, Blackpool 2. Norwood, ball let run here by Tommy Doyle. Baldock with some space on the right-hand side for Sheffield United, into the middle here. McAtee lets the ball roll across his body! Oh, that's fractions away from the right-hand post. And there's the half-time whistle, has blown. There we go, there's the whistle. Very entertaining game of football here. Ball right-hand side now from Norwood into the area. Egan looked like he was pulled down in the box. Dougal trying to flick it forward, now Patino. Edge of the area, it's deflected by, by Egan and it's going to be turned in! It's a horrible touch in the middle that took the ball away. Straight into the path of Kenny Dougal. Horrible moment for John Egan. And Blackpool have fully turned this game around now early on in the second half. And the Seasiders lead. Five and a half gone second half. Sheffield United two, Blackpool three. Blades fans trying to rally behind their team. McAtee down the left-hand side for Reese Norrington Davis to the byline. Norrington Davis will curl it into the middle, straight into the arms of Maxwell. Into Patino, forward for Medine. Medine will flick the ball away, looking for Jerry Yates, who's going to get on the end of the ball here. Yates to the left-hand side. Patino in the box, just wide of goal. Again, a still screaming head injury as the play goes on. McBurney puts it in the middle. Looked like a handball in there. It's going to go behind for a corner. Corner left-hand side in towards the near post. It's going to be cleared away as far as no one who drills it. Just outside the D. Now Doyle. Doyle to McBurney. Flipped inside here for Njai. Njai back to the right-hand side. McBurney drills it towards goal. Well, he's overhit it. Brewster looking to get beyond Nick Pateta here. Nick Pateta goes down. Referee says no foul. Brewster. He's got another player in his back now, Norrington Davis. Nick Pateta goes sliding in, it's a deflection off him, the ball goes behind for a corner. Cross back stick from uh, Doyle, it's headed up in the air, Basham's forward, flick towards the edge of the box, Norwood in there, went to shoot. Norwood, fabulous ball down the left that's just going to stay in play here. Rian Brewster looking to get beyond Nick Pateta, Nick Pateta goes flying in here on Brewster. Yellow card comes out from Ek Pateta. It is a second yellow card. It is a red card. Ball whipped into the centre towards the bike stick side netting. Brewster, touch off for Patino. Ahmed Hodzic, great strike from him as he shoves Dom Thompson into the hoarding. And Thompson has just smashed the ball towards Anil Ahmed Hodzic. There is another coming together on the far side. He is not happy at all. Dom Thompson knows exactly what he's done here. It is a second yellow card for Dom Thompson. And Blackpool are down to nine. Norwood swings it in looking for McBurney. It's headed towards goal and tipped over by Maxwell. Well, the ball's going to be played from the corner from Sheffield United. Doyle towards goal. It's just wide. Now back to the edge of the area. Norwood into the area looking for Ahmed Hodzic. Was he pulled down there by Yates in the area? It's a penalty. Stutter step from Brewster who runs up and hits the post. Rhea Brewster smashes the post. Chris Maxwell's left hand post, it goes out. Norwood stands it up into the box, it's headed towards goal. What a save that is by Maxwell, and then wide from Brewster. Phenomenal stuff from the keeper. Quickly taken throw. Basham into Doyle. Doyle in towards the back stick, it's going to be turned in, but there's an offside flag up on Anna Lightman Hodzic. Looking to go beyond it, Connolly here. Connolly gets bike but has to concede a corner kick. Doyle with his arm in the air. Looks towards the near post, looked like it came off Jerry Yates. Doyle will take the corner in towards the near post, appeals for a hand in there. Not given. It looked like a fair shout. Near side now for Doyle, in towards McBurney, headed behind. Corner kick given. Here comes the corner from uh, Doyle. A near post, one, he runs across the front of the goal. Ollie Norwood will take. Norwood into the area. Egan comes forward. Maxwell saves on the line. It's going to be kept in field and then behind for yet another Sheffield United corner. Doyle with the corner left. This one down the keeper's throat. It looked like he might have been fouled. Norwood forward! And Norwood scores on the volley from the edge of the area. Sheffield United have got their equaliser. Deep, deep 
into added time. The Blackpool players, all nine of them that are left on the field, look crestfallen. But Sheffield United, in this extraordinary, extraordinary game of football, look like they're going to finish with a point. Ball turned around, shot towards goal. Fodringham is there. It was CJ Hamilton, was it, who was coming in, the substitute. Cleared down the middle. There goes the full-time whistle. Oh, there's a melee now in the uh, around the referee here. Well, this isn't what we want to see. West Fondringham's gone down and there is a brawl. There is a mass brawl going on between the two sets of players here. The referee and the two officials are away. West Fodringham is absolutely incensed about something. Red card, West Fodringham. Red card as well, I think, for Lavery.